me, it's about trying to hear new things and meet new people. Um, everyone knows the stories of M-Pesa and Congo and Deal Day and Jumia, and I think it's uncovering some of the new things that are happening, some of the new startups, new investors even, um, new media that are coming out. So really just having an opportunity to discover. I think it's been interesting seeing what investors have talked about what they're looking for. So obviously there is a trend to fintech, but I think beyond that, when they're looking for um, teams, so more experienced people, a lot of the focus on startups is 20 year olds coming out with their ideas. And actually, you know, they're talking about, they want people with experience and connections in particular, I think in a place like Africa, where a lot of business is done through relationships, people who do come from other areas, have those relationships and almost a ready made sort of network to, to work to. So I think hearing from the investors in terms of some of those other areas beyond the product itself, um, people who are able to sell their products, communicate, um, and from sort of my background of PR and marketing, that's really interesting to hear, um, and listening to the last presentation from Etislat talking about, you know, the importance of marketing, but how that is changing in a digital world as well. So we're not really marketing to customers anymore, and the impact of sort of data and technology and what that can do. So startups or ventures who are thinking about that and building that into their product are going to go a lot further. I think what we want to tease out are some you know, actual tips for people to take away. So if they were to be interviewed tomorrow or interviewed today, what would they um, sort of learn from? So some actual kind of hardcore lessons to take away. Uh, I think as well as some of the predictions for where the media is going. So obviously the advertising model is changing. That's a completely different topic. The impact of data um, and what that might do. Uh, so I think just looking at where media is going, where the gaps still are. So you've got Tech Cabal, Quartz, who are on the panel. They've been um, only been founded in the last two, three years. They spotted a gap in the market, where else are there gaps, where else will we see sort of media coming, but on the flip side of that, where do this traditional press and the global media have a place to play for either investors or startups um, or businesses? For me, it pulls together the things that I'm interested in, so the Africa side and this technology side as well, so put those two together and it's sort of the perfect storm. Um, and I think it has a good representation across all the different groups. So you've got people here from business, you have got startups and different ventures, you've got people coming from um, academia um, or universities, you've got investors and you've got media. So I think it has a good representation across all those groups within the ecosystem. And, and I think that's what it's about, is just building up that ecosystem and making connections.